Hi everyone. This is the weaving project I'm working on today. This is a lovely design by Stephanie Gwaltney. It's done on a pro loom. Before I forget, when you get done with it, you can use it like this or you can use it like that. You have to decide which way you want to hang it. Here's another example of color. All right. Now for the purposes of weaving today, I'm going to weave it using this orientation, but it doesn't matter. If you want to put a hook in so that it hangs horizontally, you just put your, you just start at this corner, no big deal. All right. So the colors we are gonna be using are three lime, four green, three yellow, four tiger lily, two orange, 31 blue, four turquoise, and I have to confess, I have three topaz blue from Timber Creek, which is a specialty order. The only reason I did that is, in Stephanie's original design, she did robin's egg, and I didn't have any robin's egg at the time, so I threw that in. So make up your own mind, what four blues do you want here, and what three blues do you want there, as opposed to this blue, which is not what we're talking about. So here is turquoise and here is topaz blue. So once again, with the colors that I used, three lime, four green, three yellow, four tiger lily, excuse me, tiger lily, two orange, 31 blue, four turquoise, and I used three topaz blue. Now the reason I've got this, oh, I forgot to tell you, I encourage you to get a knitting needle because it will really help with this pattern. I do not knit, I don't know anything about knitting, but these needles help with your weaving. They make a tent. This is a size six knitting needle. I find that one to be helpful, that you can try your own thing. The reason I have the needle in there like that at this point is that I want to show you these four cores. There's three of them. One, two, three. I call them four cores because they're four legs. This is a loop. It has two legs. These four cores, I call them four cores because they are the core of these color grids. And they have four legs. They have the two of the guy in the middle, the full loop of the guy in the middle, and one each of the guy on the side. So that's something to pay attention to because that's a huge part of the pattern. The other thing I wanna point out to myself and to everybody is how close in color this yellow is to this tiger lily. So I'm just pointing that, pointing that out because sometimes it gets confusing. Let's see, what else did I wanna tell you about? This is a mirror pattern so what you do on row one is the same up here. So we're gonna do a, a double duty thing, which is a blessing and a curse. A blessing because everything goes faster and it's a curse because if you make a mistake, you've done it in two places, but we're gonna reframe that and say, if we make a mistake, it is an opportunity to learn. All right, so we're gonna start down here on the bottom row. We're gonna go simple weave. Under two legs, over two legs. Under two legs, over two legs. All the way across. See how this knitting needle makes a kind of a tent. I don't know how else to describe it. So when you put your hook in, it goes pretty, goes through fairly easily until you get, you know, towards the end when it gets more tight. And you know what I do when that happens, right? Safety pin. <laughs> I hope you have a safety pin. All right. As long as this needle, knitting needle is sitting there, get another blue. Slide the hook through again. And 
And since this is a mirror image, we're just doing double duty. We're just gonna hook it up there. Okay. All right. This entire side is blue, so I don't need to tell you what color to get. Just get another blue. This next row is going to be over one leg. One leg. Over one leg. And then we're going to go under two legs and over two legs. Under two legs. Over two legs. Under two legs. Until we get to what? The four core. One one, two, three, four. When we get to the four core, we're gonna go over them. Then we're gonna keep on doing what we, what we were doing before, which is under two, over two, legs, all legs. Under two, over two, under two, over two, under two. What do we have here? Make sure, because it all blends in, we have the four core. We're going over the four core legs. And we're gonna go under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two. Where are we at? We're at the four core again. We're gonna go over four legs. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go under two, over two, under two, and over one, just like at the beginning. How fun was that? <laughs> so fun. Okay, so you notice here that in this row, we are going over these four cores. Four core legs. Grab a blue. Again, as long as this is here, put your hook in, and I would suggest putting your hook right near where the knitting needle is to minimize the chances that you might accidentally, <coughs> excuse me, hook the wrong thing. Two more loops, they're all blue. This row is gonna be over two legs, under two legs, all the way across. And the four core, they don't get any special treatment. We're just Proceed on. Okay, over two at the end, just like here. And your hook. Grab another one. I'll first pack this guy down. I'm gonna untwist this guy too. Untwist. Okay. Pack, 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 pack. 
Again, as long as you have this knitting needle, which I hope you got sitting there, slide your hook very close to it to minimize mistakes. <laughs> let's minimize mistakes. Let's not beat ourselves up if we make a mistake, but let's try to minimize them. Right, right. See how that's twisted? Sometimes you gotta kinda like untwist them a little. See that guy? See this guy here? Just move him. Move him back where he's supposed to go. This guy too. These guys are really moving around. All right, we are on row four. Row four is under one leg, over two, under two, over two, and then we're gonna go under the four core. Then over two, under two, over two, under two, Two, under two, over two, under the four core. And since we're in the yellows with the, I'm gonna make sure. <laughs> okay, there's that guy and there's that guy, that's the four core. Then over two, I'm twist this guy. we're at the four core we're going under see these guys then we're gonna go over two under two over two under one just like this guy here see over two under two over two under the four core over two under two over two under two over two under two, over two, under the four core. All right, two more loops. Another one while the knitting needle is sitting there slide the hook close to the knitting needle to minimize mistakes So in this one, we went under the four core. five is going to be under two legs and over two legs all the way across. We're 
we're not splitting anything here. We're just I'm calling it two legs, but we're going over and under full loops. See? get another loop while this knitting needle is here. Slide your hook close to the knitting needle. Two more loops. We are on row six. Row six is over one leg and then under two legs, over two legs, under two legs, over the four core. See that? One, two, three, four. Under two legs, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over the four core. One, two, three, four. Under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over the four core. One, two, three, four. Under two, over two, under two, over one, just like here. So, check, 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 check. Okay. Okay, get your next loop, slide the hook close to the knitting needle. guys out a little bit.
Well, as long as I'm straightening, may as well check out both sides. Not too bad. Ooh, this guy is on oh, spreading, so ooh, good thing we checked that. Well, well, well. On the wrong peg. may seem a little bit tedious, but you'll be happier in the end if you do some of this. You also need room for more loops. All right. Get two more. We are on row one, two, three, four, five, six. We are on row seven. Okay, still coming. Seven is going to be over two legs, under two legs. All the way across. Eight, at least on this bottom part. Row eight is going to be under one leg, over two legs, under two legs, over two legs, under what? <laughs> the core four, over two legs, under two legs, over two legs, under two, over two, under two, over two, under the four core, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two, under the four core, over two, under two, over two, under one, just like here. Double check, two, 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 four, two, 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 two four. Keep your hook close to the needle.
under two, over two, all the way across. pretty row 10 is going to be over one leg under two legs over two legs under two legs over the core four one, two, three, four. Under two legs. Over two legs. Under two legs. Over two legs. Under two legs. Over two legs. Under two legs. Over the core four. One, two, three, four. Under two legs. Over two legs. Under two legs. Over two legs. Under two legs. Over two legs, under two legs, over the four core. One, two, three, four. Under two legs, over two legs, under two legs, and over one leg, like here. One, two, 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 over four, two, 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 two. two two, two, over four. It's getting tighter here, so make sure you keep your hook close to this needle. Row 11 is going to be 
over two, under two, all the way across. This is going to be the last row that I use the knitting needle and the hook because it is getting tight. If you want to have room in the middle, you have to keep packing these down. I'm going to switch over to my trusty safety pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've done eleven. So we're going to be on row twelve. Row twelve is going to be under one leg. Over two, under two. Over two, under the four core. Over two legs, under two legs. Over two legs, under two legs. Now with this you gotta make sure it's not twisting behind you. Over two legs. Let's see here, where am I? Over two legs, under two legs. Over two legs, under the four core. Yeah. Over two legs, under two legs. just like here. Let's twist and see. So 
sometimes these loops are stretchier than the other ones, so you gotta kinda tug them back in here. Okay, get another one. And do the exact same thing up here that you just did, which is under one. under the four core over two under two over two under one yay these are stretchy loops One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're on row thirteen. Row thirteen is going to be under two over two all the way across. Stretchy loops. Gonna pull them back in a little bit. Spread the wealth around. I'm gonna do the middle one next. I'm not gonna do the mirror one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to do 14, row 14, which is going to be under one leg.
over two, under two, over two, under the four core, over two, under two, over two, under two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, I'm doing row fourteen, which is row two. I'm doing it right. Over one, under two. That's supposed to be over the four legs, not under the four legs. I did something wrong. I don't know what it was. That's all right. I think what I'm going to do is go back to my mirroring. I'm going to do the mirror one here. Under two. Holy mackerel. Look at that thread. All right. I'm gonna do the mirror, but we did down here, and then I'm gonna do the last one. Under two, over two. Gee, this is stretchy. Holy mackerel. Now we're going to do the middle one. I've got a heck of a stretchy loop in here. not a crisis. All right, now we're going to try the last one again. But first, we're going to separate these two here so we can put the middle one in. All right, there's the middle. All right, let's try this again. Over one leg. Under 
here too. Gotta really watch what you're doing. Over two, under two. Yay, I'm doing it right. <laughs> Oh, you have to be kind to yourself, people. Now we're gonna go over four, over the four core. One, two, three, four. Under two. Over the four core, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna go under two, over two again. Under two, over two. It's hard because uh, it's very tight and you got things close together. We're gonna be going up under this one leg here and one of the oranges. So it's easy to get discombobulated. You may quote me. <laughs> It's easy to get discombobulated. Over two. Under two. Over two. Under two. Over the last four core. One, two, three, four. How pretty is that? So pretty. Under two. Over two. Under two. Over one. Yay! <laughs> I have to tell you, this is the third time I did this. And I haven't once been able to do it without having to backtrack on something. So, so if you have any struggles, don't worry about it. Just undo it and you'll be fine. So now what you have to decide is, do you want the orientation to be like this? So that would be like this first one that I showed you. If you wanna hang it, this is the pattern is gonna be vertical. Or you want it to be horizontal like this. Right? I'm gonna go ahead and go with horizontal so these two will match. Matchy matchy. Start up here in this corner, lift it up, get the next guy, pull the next guy through, put the first guy back on the loom to hold tension. Thank you, Stephanie, for the design. It's delightful. Beautiful mirror design.
can, of course, play with different colors with this, you know. Try different light colors, dark colors, whatever you want. because I had some blue ones that were so stretchy and now I'm over on this side and these guys are tight. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes. I could have sworn I looked at these loops before I started to see if they were all similar, but evidently I was not correct. Some of them are a little bit stretchy. This guy can go there. One more. Around another corner. Some people use um, binder clips to keep the tension. So you could try that if that is what you would like. If you want, you can use the original anchor loop that I put on here, which is this one, as your loop to hang this with. Now, if you don't want to hang it, you can weave the loop into the back side. But I'm going to get this first anchor loop, I'm going to pull it through, and I'm going to use it as my loop for hanging.
cute. If you want to put a ring on this, you can get a ring, drop it over the loop like it's a hula hoop, then get the loop and spread it around like you're putting a shawl around your shoulders. Like that. And then you have a hoop. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it. Have a great day.